In most cases, you can balance transfer someone else's credit card debt. Question is, do you trust them or are you happy to pay off their debt? If you've ever had a credit card, you'll probably have heard of balance transfers. People who know how to use credit cards wisely and have a good credit rating often hop to a 0% interest rate so that when you pay them back, you're not paying high APR rates back every month. When you transfer someone else's balance, it isn't quite as simple as just swapping over. You'll need to speak to the credit card provider to see how they do it, but normally they'll require a conversation and authorization from you as you're receiving the debt. They're the formalities, but what does it mean for you? It's understandable if you're in a relationship and your partner, family member, friend is struggling with the debts and you want to help. If they've agreed to pay you back monthly, have you discussed their financial situation? And do you know they'll be able to pay every single month? Once you've made that transfer, the debt's in your name. It'll affect your credit rating and you'll be responsible for paying it each month. You may have thought about this already, but what about the cost of the balance transfer? If it goes onto your credit card, have your fees gone up? And if they do, how's that going to be split? If you're in a relationship, what happens if you break up and they refuse to pay? If you've come to a verbal repayment agreement, it'd be wise to make any notes of payments that have been made. Keep a note of how much has been chipped away at so that if at a later date there are any doubts about how much has been paid or maybe not paid, then you've got a record. There's no harm in protecting yourself. It may actually work the other way and your partner, friend or family member may have paid more than you both thought. If you or whoever you're helping out are in debt and struggling to make ends meet, then it might be worth looking at debt solutions. Some lower your monthly repayments while others can even just write some of the debt off. You'll have to qualify for some of the solutions and there are pros and cons to all of them. That's why it's important to fully get your head around them before you make a decision. Below this video, I've linked to a form on my new website and it's got a few multiple choice questions like how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? At the end of that form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to give you information about all the debt solutions that are available. So click the link below, go and check it out. Let me know how you get on.